In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, we have the birth of Jesus. Chapter 3, we have the baptism of Jesus, all recorded by Luke very succinctly and very carefully in his Gospel. We know that John is out in the wilderness, he's baptizing, and he's calling people to repentance. So many times the question is asked, why would Jesus be baptized since he never sinned? Born of the Holy Spirit, a virgin birth. Well, he does it as an example to us, for us, so that all righteousness, he says in one gospel, might be fulfilled. Jesus goes, he meets John, and it says this in the Gospel of Luke chapter three, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus was baptized, and while he prayed, the heaven was open, and the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily form like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, you are my beloved son, in you I am well pleased. So you've got the Father speaking, Holy Spirit like a dove, and Jesus the Son being baptized, being obedient as an example to us. And in other gospels it says he immediately came out of the water. Because here's the thing, after baptized, people would stand in the water and confess their sins. Jesus had no sins to confess. But as an example to us, there with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he's calling us to repent, calling us to come into the kingdom, to follow him in baptism. So take the example of Jesus, learn from him, as God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit come together, calling us to hear what the Son is doing, as this voice from heaven says, this is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Let's follow that which pleases the Father, as we submit ourselves, repent of our sins, and follow the Lord Jesus Christ in this whole new experience of being baptized in water and by the Spirit. Mm -hmm.